Episode 5 on Alma, Missouri brings us back to kind of where we left off in the last one. I said that that is not the right vehicle. What? I was right here. We'll get it. There we go. That works better. In the last one, I said it would be September before we saw each other again, but I had an idea. And my idea is to take another area that we've got here on the farm and turn that also into a grass field and the thing is it's already a grass field and that would be right here right in the front now i have gone and already smoothed this out so hopefully it's not going to be too bad but we don't have a grass field right now and well i figured this would be fun and it would be just kind of the front yard i like that so i'm gonna start out here right outside the road i'm gonna enable fast farming which is always a good thing and then we want to i guess kick this in towards the middle and probably make picking it up easier later on through there and we are good cool uh, this will also help me out in figuring out the outline of how i'm going to do all of this because of course the field is not going to come all the way out honestly i want this to look exactly like it does now just be able to fertilize it and stuff yeah i used to do this a lot in farm sim actually back in farm sim 17 Dude, I would literally go in every area that had grass and I would plow all of it up, plant grass, or I would just harvest the grass and keep it as free grass. This is not going to give us a lot, if I'm honest. Maybe a couple thousand liters, but you know what? It's going to be more than zero, which is going to be fantastic. And there it is. Honestly, like I said, there is not much space there, but... I don't know, but I think it's good, right? We could throw this in the silo and ferment it. And it was absolutely free. What? I don't remember how to cut the lights off. Got it. So, would you like to take a guess to see how much grass we got off of this front bit? It's probably going to be a lot more than you thought. Totaling 54,000 liters. 54,000 liters! That's a lot. And then we'll bring them around and dump it right into our fermenting silo so we can use some of that for silage. Speaking of silage, uh, how much do we have in here? And we're not doing too bad. Uh, we've got 29,000 liters that have been made so far. However, we've got 554,000 liters of straw and 390,000 liters of grass, which it's not even on. What am I doing? Activate. There we go. Now we're moving. I'm an idiot. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is do all the precision farming stuff to this field. I've gotta plow it up, then we've gotta do lime and then seed the grass, and then we'll come through fertilize, and I think that'll be it. Oh, and rock pick. I'm gonna have to rock pick as well. Ah, uh, let me turn rocks off real quick. I made the crucial mistake of putting fertilizer down before my seed, and now I've got about 10 times the amount of fertilizer I need. But you know what? It's done, we're good, and now this entire field will grow up as a very healthy grass field for us in the future. But, at least for today, let's go to bed. Welcome to a beautiful September morning here in Missouri. Man, oh man, look, it's about 8 o'clock, the sun's just come up. Well, it's trying to anyway, the clouds are kind of in the way. It is beautiful this morning. What we've got is we have growth. So, both of our fields are growing, our... Grass field, let's see if we can get a little bit of air right here. Grass field is looking good. Again, both of our fields are looking great. The corn is looking fantastic. Super excited about that. And we have found ourselves in the ownership of a lot of silage. I mean, a lot of silage. Okay, maybe not a lot, a lot, but 124,000 liters to, like in one day. I think that's pretty darn good. Look at this thing. We've, it, it doesn't look like anything has moved, but we do have a bunch of silage, which is really great uh it's everything's just one yeah one to one huh something seems fishy but i refuse to complain about it let's go ahead and jump in here and dump the silo desk and take a while all right maybe we'll leave that sitting for a hot minute there's a few things we could do with the silage there we go we got a little bit more um we could take this into town we could put it in our silo or we could try and find a nice place to sell it. Now, we talked about the BGA earlier in the last episode, but I think at least for right now, we're just going to completely ignore that because they want a lot of money for that, $300,000. And 
yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So we've got a couple other things in here as well. For example, um, sell everything, 568 bucks. It's not terrible, but it also means we're only going to be getting like 60 to $70,000 off of all of this. I know it's not a lot, but I also know that it's a decent amount. Man, I should have put this in my... Hang on a minute. What I did was I dumped it in my silo, and then I'm going to bring my truck around. <laughs> we're going to fill this up. Uh, if you did not know, uh, yes, the trailer's been modified to hold basically everything. There we go. Nice. Looks like it holds a little bit more than that other trailer, too, so that makes things good. We probably got, I don't know, 50 liters in here already that's been made since we talked. Boop. There we go. Now let's take this into town and I guess make that 50 to 60 grand. I knew putting down a custom cell point would be beneficial to me. I did this back in Griffin, Indiana actually as well. There we go, drop that out. Oh, that's gonna take a while to sell. You know what? Not bad, 70,000 almost on the money. 70,748 bucks. Very good, very good indeed. Yay. So kind of at this point, at least in uh, this early on in the game, there's not much else to do. I mean, we could probably go and take some of this money that we've got and spend it, but no reason to spend money if you don't have to. So we're probably just gonna leave this here. We'll drop that off there. Turn the lights off, there we go. And maybe wait just a little bit, a couple more months, uh, September, October, November. We should have harvest ready in November or maybe early December. It's gonna be a late harvest, at least in this first year. After that, we should be good to go. Take a look down at the bottom right. Yeah, everything's looking good there. The nitrogen levels are beautiful, and here they're uh, almost three times high. So, fantastic. All right, let's see what the next couple days bring us. November is here. We've skipped through two months, and harvest is upon us. The corn is ready, the canola is ready, and the grass is ready. We are going to be swathing the canola. We're going to be harvesting the corn like normal people, and then we're going to mow the grass as if it was just, well, grass. We also have 304,000 liters of silage here, which is fantastic. We'll make well over $150,000 off of that. And that, along with the corn that we're gonna sell, along with the canola that we're going to sell, and the grass that we're gonna turn back into silage, I tell you what, doing silage like this, this is actually kind of turned into a very nice form of income. You see, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a month, something like that. I mean, that's pretty good. I wish I could make that in a month. Off of the front hopper, we are going to get 143 thousand dollars. There you go. That is about as much as I thought we were going to get for the back as well. Uh, how much does that add to it? Yeah, we just made a whole lot more than I thought we were going to. 31 thousand off that, so that's 170. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's math. It's math. I'm not allowed to do the math. Uh, what I do want to do is figure out where we're going to sell the canola and see if it's somewhere that we could buy. So it doesn't look like we have an oil mill down on this, uh, this map. That's kind of stinky. Green cell point. I guess we could go there. Or we could build a place and put down our own little bit and make some oils. We could actually do this. Uh, this area is going to be a little difficult to do, but what we could do is we get in here and flatten it out a little bit. Maybe change the orientation to this way versus the other way. Uh, there is a pathway that walks along through here. You can see uh, well, the, the pedestrians don't exactly walk down the path, but it, it's a thing and it happens. So I think maybe try and do something like that, but we do have the bakery here and I haven't done any uh, flower crops yet. We need to do flower, man. So then what do we do first? What do we do first? Did I already say it in the video? I don't remember if I said it in the video or not. Let's do mm, corn first. The reason I want to do the corn first is because that's going to take the least amount of time and probably make us the most amount of money. So at least for me, that makes a little bit of sense. Plus, well, we can take the, the other bit and yeah. You guys know what I mean. Sorry, it's very early in the morning when I'm recording this. Couldn't sleep, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go hang out with my people. So, let's jump over here and let's get this done. Uh, by the way, I was talking about the, the swather. Uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to just get in there with a the swather and maybe do one or two runs and then hire a worker on them while the corn is being harvested as well. Actually, makes things very easy. By the way, 
Love this header on here. Please lower. Thank you. Hey, speaking of, while we're at it, let's take a look and see if there's any, um, anything in here? No? I don't see anything, at least not as of yet. Uh, we did have a couple months ago, I did have a very, very big New Holland Harvester, but I think I've probably got the next one picked out. We'll do eh, likely one more year in game and then we'll get that. Let's go enable fast farming and do want to make sure that the straw swath is enabled because we do have a mod that will make straw out of the corn. There we go. We have that nice stubble that gets crushed down and for some reason there is grass in here as well. Um, I have taken a look and it says that there is no problems with this whatsoever. So I think maybe that's just the corn texture in this map has grass down. Eh, eh, I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Oh, and we are getting a mighty bit of corn off here too. Oh, and we have that corn dryer on here as well. I know there's a couple things that require dry corn or you can use dry corn. So this may be the time that we start investing in that. I, I don't want to go two years without getting into production chains. So I think now is going to be the time to do that. Let's go ahead and run, uh, I don't know, we need to run at least two headlets, maybe even three, just how small the header is. And then we will hire them up on a worker and get some of this done. We may go side to side this time. I'm not quite sure we'll go back to back. This part right here is what I was really worried about was getting too close, but you know what? I think this is just about perfect. And then right over here is the very end of it. So we left almost the perfect amount. I can get just a little bit of overlap. I don't have to worry too much about it. You know what? That's nice. That makes things really, really easy. Cool, man. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I do think three uh, three head lens is going to be the way to go, especially since we're so close over here. Done my head lens. Now it's time to see if the worker will do the right thing or not. I have my doubts. Uh, and, and of course, they were just going to take off straight through there as well. Man, not quite. I don't trust them just yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little bit of babysitting. Uh, also, there's a couple contracts available around us. I'm thinking about taking them on just because we're here, but one of them we can't because we don't have the right stuff for that crop the other one we do and we've got it on right now so here it is we've got 30 grand more or less to harvest the field of sunflowers we can also keep what's left so that's probably going to make us an extra 30 to 60 thousand dollars and of course the straw that we'll get off of here i think i'm gonna take it it's gonna take a while uh let's see let's details new contracts accept the contract I'll accept it, but man, that's going to take a long time to do. I don't trust myself either. All right, our worker. There's one job that I kind of forgot about. Carting. Yeah, yeah. Combine's almost full. <laughs> and I totally forgot. Oh, we get to take this thing out. Uh, this is probably one of my more favorite but least used pieces of equipment would be an auger wagon. I love it, or green card as some people would call it, in the game auger wagon, so we'll just go with that. It's just beautiful. Plus, we got it in the New Holland blue and that American flag on it. Man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Let's see if we can catch up to this thing before he gets too close up to the top. Should be able to spin it back around. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work with a worker. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just kind of let him go and then see what he does. Yep, not completely happy with that, but I'll take it. Where are you? Hey, dummy, get back here. So far we got 80 some thousand liters off of just this, three headlands and then a couple passes. I think that's pretty good. We'll probably, I don't know, maybe get another 70 to 80,000 liters on here as well. It's not bad, we're doing okay. This is one spot I'm kind of interested to see how the worker's gonna do this. I figured I'd bring you guys along. You could look straight ahead and see there's quite a few spots where this combine needs to also go. And when it comes back, it's probably going to be at the very, very top. However, is our worker just going to go straight forward all the way to the other end of the field? Or is it going to stop right here? He going to stop right here. Okay. Well, at least that answers that question. The worker for this field being as weird as it is... The worker does a fairly decent job on this, which is why I'm going to buy field number nine as soon as possible. Unfortunately, it's 633 grand and I need more money. So we're not going to buy that yet. Also, field number one over there, I would like to have that as well at some point, but we don't need it now. It's a want, 
but it's not a need. And of course, over here on the other end, they cut straight through just like that. There are a couple little spots that they missed, so we will have to do that. But for a worker, I'm, I'm not saying I'm impressed, but I'm not mad. Is that, was that it? I don't know if that's it or not. There you go. We'll hire a worker on this as well, just so the straw swat looks nice at the end. It's probably going to say field not found here at the bottom. Yeah, completed their task. So that will work. And they also missed one little itty bitty sprig right over here. And then we'll spin back around. And then I think hiring a worker on the rest of the field will work perfectly. This little sprig right there. There we go. Got it. We'll put it over here. Let it sit. And be done. Boom, boom. It's going to come out. Nope. All right. Hire them on a worker. And then we get to do a couple more other things. Other things? Ah, you know what I mean. We could probably take this time to get our swather ready to go. We'll pull forward and oh, that that was reverse. That was that was the wrong gears. What that was? Can I get out of here like that? Uh, kinda. I don't know. Let's see if I can spin the rear end of this around without hitting that plow. Oh yeah, very cool. All right, now we need the red one. The black. One. Well, I don't know. We can do the black one real quick. It's just a small grass field. Even though we did this what at the beginning of the episode. We can do this again, because it's all ready to go. Go, go, go. Ooh, and we got, what was it? 50, 60, 70,000 liters of grass? I don't, I don't actually remember what we got, but this should be more. Ba boom there it is. Uh, these swaths are much, much taller. So it tells me it's at least twice as much. Could be more, I don't think it is, but boy, it could be. Yeah, you never know drop it off. While we're at it, let's go ahead and do a little bit of carting and let's talk about the rest of this harvest and maybe moving on into the future. So we'll see how canola goes. We'll see how corn goes. I haven't really done much corn uh, in Farm Sub 22, so maybe we'll continue this. It is nice or maybe at least once a year or something like that. Uh, soybeans, haven't done a lot of beans either, so maybe we could jump into the beans. We've done a lot of flower crops. <laughs> Wheat, barley, oats, that kind of thing. We've done plenty, I think, of that. Nice. Get a little carting done. This is nice. This is this is good. I kind of feel, feel like I did back in Farming Simulator 19. Although I felt like that about six months into the game, maybe a year when all the really good maps and mods started to release. And I think it's taken about two years for me to get super comfy in Farming Simulator 22. Hey, we may be even a year away from the next release think this is probably empty yeah yeah let's let's just go ahead and let him do his thing we got 128,000 liters of corn here this is pretty good so um moving forward i do think corn is a good option uh, we do need to get into those flower crops of so the wheat barley oat uh, figure out that stuff sorghum maybe as well as a matter of fact i think we can make flour with corn on this map so maybe maybe that's the way to go here we will definitely explore that uh harvesting contracts we're going to be expanding our vehicle selection up as well uh, we've got uh, not small equipment but it's definitely small to medium i think in the grand scale of things for me at the very least so we'll take a look at all of that kind of bump this up as well there we go and stop it also we're going to detach there you go uh, we also want animals, so we have sheep and cows here on the main farm. We could probably get into doing some chickens as well. I know we just got those chicken pens that hold like 5,000 head of chicken each, so maybe we could do, I don't know, three or four of those. That would be fun. There's a lot of things that we could do, but I definitely want to continue what I was talking about, of getting into the production chains, really, really taking a look at some of the new stuff that this map added. That way we can have fun with it and enjoy it. And once ever, whenever we move on to the next map, uh, we have a moment to miss it, if that makes any sense. So there you go. Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly how much grass we got off of the field earlier, but I'm gonna guess this is more. So this is strange. We didn't actually get that much more. I wanna say we had 50 some thousand liters before. Get out of here, dear. We only have 65,000 now. I don't know if that is a good enough increase to uh, justify plowing it up and doing all of this extra work. It doesn't seem worth it. I mean, we got more, don't get me wrong. But yeah, no, that's uh, 
definitely interesting. Oh, wait, workers completed their task? There's no way they're done. No, they're just done with this tail here. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and this is kind of makes this nice. So I was going to get in and start swathing, but we do need to get this straw off the ground. I want to do that as quickly as possible. I don't want to leave it to wait or anything like that. Plus, by the time we get even part of this done, the worker's going to be finished up with this field. So drop it down. Get ready. Three, two, one. Hire worker. Nice. All right, cool. Where's where's this guy? There he is. Let's get this straw off the ground. I don't remember what we got at the last time we did this field, but I'm sure this is going to be plenty. And as a matter of fact, we may even figure out in the next episode, because I think that's at least going to be uh, it and all the time that we've got for today. But in the next one, we'll find out how much straw we got. We will start on the second part of our harvest, which will be our canola. And we will also start on the other other part of our harvest which is going to be harvesting all of those sunflowers for our contract and until then we'll see you then